read this real. Texas Tommy Official. Line them up then, Paul P. Hey! <laughs> let's do it. That's what's up. That's what's up. So let's go on and get to the first one, man. Let's see what we got. We probably got about almost 20. I'm big done. Almost? Yeah, yeah. Let's get to it, man. So we got the first one. Host has nothing to add these conver at basically add to uh nothing to add to these conversations. Just infatuated with the streets and these gossip topics. <laughs> All right, and that comes from Black. And this was, um, I don't know when it was, but uh, it said seven hours ago, but we clipped these the other day. Um, that's from Black. Okay, uh, this is this is where, uh, this is what I'll say to that when it comes down to that, man. Before we came into this world, what did we do, bro? The city, right? Yeah. We've yeah. been on this from day one. Mm -hmm. One thing when it comes down to individuals like us, we can't help where we come from, man. I can't help that I grew up in, in Wise, California, where the, sh the the house that we live, the street that we lived on, our house got broken into every other month. And, you know, it's gangs behind me. It's gangs on the left side of me. You know what I'm saying? My uncle's in the streets. All of that. You know what I'm saying? Thank God we had, you know, places like Will Rogers Park where we could go hoop and stuff like that, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't, We cannot help those things. You know what I'm saying? The only thing we could do is try to bring each other together by talking about it and me because i'm a writer i turned it into movies i turned it into stories i bring individuals to the table so now the world can have an understanding of what's going on in the streets the world can have an understanding of what's going on and why people turn to gangs and everything like that i think that's very very important to talk about because of where i come from and i know how the outside world look at gangs and look at the streets you got to remember i'm a person who understand that world right because that's where i come from but i work with white people asian people you know what i said uh, persian people and people of, of those cultures because i'm in business as well you know i have a business in a medical field i have a trucking business i'm in business as well so i see with how these people feel about our community and these people are afraid of gangs these people don't understand gangs these people don't understand our world they look at where you know, so somewhere like where we come from and be like, how could you have grown up over there? You know what I'm saying? They don't understand. Remember when we did our second premiere for the city? Yeah. Okay. I know, And remember at that premiere, uh, the first premiere is mainly, I'm going to say 95% just black people, right? Mm -hmm. The second premiere it was more diverse. A lot of white people was there, you know, some agents, whatever. There's a lot of different people there, right? Do you remember what they were saying? After we premiered that, the city, they was up in there halfway crying. No, some were coming up to me crying in tears and saying, I didn't know. It's really like that out there? How could you have grown up in a world like that? Is, is this real? That's what you was getting from everybody. Am I lying, bro? Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's, oh, yeah. It was a lot of that. Yeah. You know? A lot of people. They they didn't understand that we came up in a world like that. Yeah. If if I'm if I don't have a podcast and I'm not writing movies and telling these stories, who's going to tell it? You know what I'm saying? I haven't saw no one do it yet. And and I feel like God put in me what he put in me to 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 be a person who is going to go out there and tell these stories. It's not about being infatuated. It's where I come from. What the hell you what you want me to do? It's where I come from. <laughs> you know Please believe. I thank God every day. I got respect for him, but I thank God every day I never became a gang member. I thank God for it. I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't be able to walk into the doors that I walk into every day. Trust me on that. Trust me. Trust me. I'm not saying people can't change their life. I'm just saying I wouldn't have the mentality that I have if I did go into that direction. So it's not being infatuated with anything. Did you say that about John Singleton? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Do you say that about the, the white people and all these other people who come into our culture and have podcasts and, and, and platforms? Spike now, Lee. Spike Lee. You know, and, and that's what I'm saying. It's all of them, right? Yep. But now we got also the white people mm -hmm. who now got podcasts and all of that, having people come and tell our stories on their platforms. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever say nothing to them. But when a black man who come from that world yeah, not into this and that, but come from that world and telling the stories, bringing people to the table and everything like that. That person is, oh, uh, why are you infatuated with this or that? I'm sorry, man. I'm never going to stop that. I'm on a mission. Mm -hmm. And if you're not backing us, you're not behind us, it is what it is, man. So, it is it so is. you know, I'm always going to tell these stories. So get used to it. Hey, thank God. Hey, thank you, you, you commented for a reason. So you watching, Black. You watching. 
So appreciate that. You got anything to say about it, bro? Yeah, I do got something to say because I hate when people talk like that, man. And I, I believe they say that because they like, oh, they don't gangbang, so they ain't really been through nothing. And I'm just Which like, crazy. look, bro, we was raised out here on these streets, you know what I'm saying, in L.A., you know what I'm saying? I've been through it all probably just as much as a gangbanger. Man. I've been locked up. I've been, I, actually, when I was young, I don't do that no more, but yeah, I rob niggas. Niggas rob me. You know what I'm saying? Been through it all. Been in jail, been Soul locked drugs, up. You know what I'm saying? All. Did it all. You know what I'm saying? Got in fist fights, did it all. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to say, like, you know, just because a, a, a dude don't gangbang don't mean that he ain't from the streets or he don't know the streets. He don't know what's going on. That don't mean shit to me. So I hate when people talk like that. So yeah, he got to correct himself. Yeah, yeah. You know? Facts, yeah. facts. So because we changed now, we different now, now we're on a different path, don't mean that we ain't been through it. We didn't have a past. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. And just know too, please understand this. We're not glorifying this stuff. Nah. I promise you we're not glorifying it. If I was glorifying it, I wouldn't be trying to tell the stories and change the narrative. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'll be trying to get more deeper into it. I don't know. I'm just saying, this ain't the way you glorify it by bringing the stories to the, to the table and then having individuals asking. You see what I'm asking individuals. What are you doing to change your life now? What path are you on now? What are you trying to do now? What, what are you trying to do productive to change the lives of the youth and everything like that? You wouldn't be talking like that if you're trying to glorify it. So nobody ever trying to glorify it. This is the world we come from, and we all about change and showing people on the outside that when it come down to these individuals in this world, it's a reason why we are the way we are. It's a reason why people do what they have done. So understand our world so we could come together. So, so yeah, you know, uh, uh, let's go to the next one, Big Don. Jeez. Already. First one, get into it. Okay, uh, Paul, you're killing us. This cowboy dude mentioned God, but does scandalous stuff to his own homies till this day. Bootlegging and using people is very contradicting. Then two minutes later, he's talking about fighting, taking fades, and twisting people. Leave the golly talk out the negativity, cuz oh, not good. Um, first of all, I'm gonna say this. I'm not gonna get into depth about this comment right here because it's talking cowboy gotta speak for itself. So when it comes down to what cowboy talking about and how he's talking about it, I, I don't speak for no other man, especially a grown man. But I will say this. I'm always going to speak of God on this podcast, you know, and, and, and this is not a church. So just because we speak of God, which we're always going to do it because I'm a believer, doesn't mean that it ain't going to be individuals or sometimes myself who doesn't make uh, not just the mistake, but um, um, use uh, uh, words and things that are going on up in this world um, on the podcast. That's going to happen. We're talking about everyday topics, you know. It ain't, it, we not in here uh, 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 preaching sermons, sermons every day, which is nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, it's nothing wrong with speaking God's name. I'd rather God's name be spoken on, on this podcast, no matter what else is said, than it not be. If you, if you hear what I'm saying, you know? So when it comes down to that, we're always going to speak on that. You see, when I first open up, what do I say? You know what I'm saying? Listen, listen, listen to my intro when it comes down to it. You know what I'm saying? I serve God. I'm not God. This is just my opinion. I'm going to always use God's name. And I'm a work in progress. I'm going to always, you know, preach on the growth and prosperity when it comes down to it and everything. You know, I don't got to go into it in depth. You know, oh, yeah, I go to church every Sunday and all this other type of stuff. Yeah, we do all of that. But I'm just saying, it's nothing wrong with speaking God's name. I'm okay if it's somebody who people see as a demon on the street. If it was somebody who people see, let's say, in the eyes of like a King Bond or somebody like that, and they were speaking on God, more power to them. Speak God's name. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know what that may do for somebody else just hearing the name God, just talking about and giving their testimony. So I'm always going to big up that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who come and sit at this table, I'm going to ask about their faith when it comes down to that, you know? And I hope that, you know, they're going into the right direction with that. But we're none of us is perfect. We all human beings, you know? We haven't left this earth yet, you know? And our, and our flesh is a sinful flesh, if you got to wake up and repent every day because you was out there committing sins, then do it. But if you speak on God, it means that you know. It means that you understand when it comes down to it. Doesn't mean that you're not going to go out there and sin again. Doesn't mean that you ain't going to go out there and commit crimes. It just means that you know. And maybe ju you just need more growth. So it's nothing wrong with that, you know. So anything to say about that, bro? Yeah, just because somebody believe in God don't mean they, they're not going to defend themselves. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to defend myself. I believe in God, but I'm going to defend myself. You know, God said fear no one but God. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm not going to fear nobody if you try to come my way. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to defend myself. So, so just because somebody speak on that doesn't mean 
You know what I'm saying? That, oh, okay, uh, he doesn't believe in God or he's false. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like when people talk like that either, man. You know what I'm saying? Because just because somebody believes in God don't mean that they not going to step up and do what they have to do to protect their family. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. And most of the time, and what people are speaking on when it comes down to this podcast, most of the time, if you think about it, when we get into the controversial topics and and talk about uh, 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 individuals, it's in defense. Yeah. You defense, get what I'm saying? Yep. It's never us just coming on here just going off on, going somebody, on somebody about somebody anything. It's always in defense. Yeah. So, so it's nothing wrong with coming on here and defending yourself. Exactly. But you a believer. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, that's what we want to speak on most of the time when it comes down to, you know, business, prosperity, you know, God, faith and all, everything like that. But I'm sorry, in this world, you're not going to get away with just doing that. You got to speak on what's going on in your life as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we want to be transparent with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I hope a lot of more people out there respect that, that we're being transparent. We're not here just faking a funk and just talking just about our faith every day or just talking about business every day. We're letting you into our world and our life. And letting you know this is going on, we're going to speak on it. You know, so hopefully more people respect that than not. All right, Big Don. All right. Uh, oh, this look like this is a milk fan right here. Uh, Bren, Bren, Brennan Harris. How many times y'all going to run around the same topic? The host of this show is straining everything he can out of the hood politics other than gang business this guy has nothing else to talk about it's sad it's all gang drama gang drama gang drama you know this this is what i'm gonna say about this so obviously people like that and, and i'm sure that was a milk fan i'm guessing uh, <laughs> obviously people like that don't watch the pod i give people like that grace you know why they don't watch the podcast in total we have over a thousand clips and videos on the podcast channel. If you go and really look at all the things that we have up in there, you'll probably find about 20% of everything that's up there have anything to do with any gangs or streets. Maybe about 20%. All the other stuff, you're dealing with business, you're talking about girls, you're talking about different topics in mainstream media. You know, we're going through all of those things, the faith, whatever. You know, we going through all that, but people wasn't watching that, remember? Yeah. People still to this day, if I go and do a, a, a video or a show on something dealing with a, a business and education, it's going to probably get about a good 100, 200 views. You get what I'm saying? So that's why those videos don't blow up. People just ain't watching it. Ain't that we ain't doing it. We're doing it. Those are not just, those not going viral. So, so go through our channel. I give you... That's your, that's, your, that's your job right there. I'm going to give you that as homework, Brennan. Go through the channel and, and see how many videos you find that have nothing to do with gangs and, and definitely not politics. If anybody here that's from that world bring up something, I'm going to let them speak. So I will never speak on no gang politics because it's nothing that I could speak on in regards to that. But if it's somebody that's sitting across from me that's speaking on that, I'm going to let them speak. This is what Nothing to Sell Podcast is all about. It's your story. Any way you want to tell it. Now, after we do it, if they say, hey, can you take this out or take that out? I'll do it. But most of the time they come here and say, Paul P, don't take nothing out. Ain't that what they say? That's what they say. You know what I'm saying? We had, we had bumped there the other Bob day. They said, don't take he shit said, out. straight up, don't take nothing out. Leave it all there. So what happened? <laughs> Period, you know? And like I said, they don't say nothing to them yeah. on their podcast when they're letting people speak and they're talking about gang the gang lifestyle, the politics from it, and all of that. They say nothing. Bro, we got gang members that have their own podcast. What's worse than that? You know what I'm saying? So that's yeah. all they're really speaking about is gang, gang, gang. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah. I mean, for them to say something about that. And on top of that, when we first started, bro, uh, for one, we're not gang members. Yeah, so yeah. we ain't really involved in that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's only when we sit at the table with gang members. If they want to speak up on gangs, then, yeah, we let them we preach. We let them speak, yeah. But the thing about it, when we first started, we was doing what? Uh, 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 female segments, you know what yeah, I'm saying, yeah. with seven, eight girls. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And we did our one-on-ones just talking about just social media in general, just what's going on yeah, with, yeah. you know, in the, in the rap industry, the music industry, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, just giving our opinion about that. You know, we yeah. were, we never really went into no gang bang uh, nah, topics, you know, nah. no gang banging topics or talking about gangs. I mean, the so. most that I did was because, I mean, I'm a person who did something like the city. So I talk about street activity in a way to where, hey, 
you could change your life. You don't have to go down in this direction. Or, or I may tell a story of, of of something that has 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 been put out there into the news that have to do with the streets. You know, so I may react to it or something like that. But I wasn't going deep into it saying, yeah, and this is what I've been through as a gang member or whatever, anything yeah. like that. So that that just don't happen. You know, so I think a lot of times people see a clip of something or a video of something and they put they mark that as the, that represents the whole podcast yeah. when they see things like that. And that's that's false. You know, like I say, your homework is individuals who think like that. Your homework is go to the channel, go to the actual, don't just look it up, look up a clip and, and hit the clip that's on your feed. Go to the actual channel and look at all of the, the, the segments and hit them. And you can start to see really what this podcast is all about. Yeah.